already over one month as we have volcano erupting north of Grindavik. This is the live cam and this is how it looks uh, right now. You see splashes of lava and a lot of uh, degassing from the walls of the volcano as a few days earlier. I'm back in Austin so I will update you on what is going on here. Peculiar situation is now developing on Reykjanes Peninsula. A new volcanic eruption is now expected and it may occur before the current eruption ends. The land rise in Svartsengi area has been very stable in recent weeks and it is now estimated that around 6 million cubic meters of magma have accumulated there since March 16th when the last intrusion occurred and the ongoing eruption started. The magma accumulation is therefore starting to reach the amount that was necessary in the last few months for magma injection to occur. The uncertainty about the future is therefore great, but the Icelandic Met Office has set up several scenarios and we will go over five of them. Scenario number one. Magma flows from the magma seal and the Svartsengi into the Sunnukur crater row just like during the last six times. Scenario number two. As a result of the magma intrusion, new fissures could open in the area between Storas Kogafetl and Hagafetl, or and the existing fissures could expand with a sudden increase in the lava flow. And this can happen with very short or no notice at all. Scenario number three. If a magma flows and with the new fissures opening up elsewhere in the magma tunnel that formed on November 10th, a much longer notice can be expected, most likely intense micro seismic activity, deformation and pressure changes in the boreholes. This will happen if fissure will open up for open up elsewhere in other locations in the magma tunnel that formed it, uh, back in November. Then scenario number four. It is also possible that there will be n uh, there will be no magma flow, but the flow in the current eruption stops decreasing and begins, begins to increase steadily until a new balance between the inflow of magma from below and the flow uh, to the surface from the crater is reached. It means the ongoing eruption will intensify all of a sudden until the balance uh, between the lava flows is reached. Uh, now, scenario number five. If a magma run ends with the new fissures opening up somewhere else than in the area between Storaskogafetl and Hagafet, let's say at Eldwarp Crater Row to the west or Fagardasfjall or something like that. Such a scenario would very likely be accompanied by a high seismic activity and uh, significant land deformation with considerably longer notice uh, than uh, during the previous volcanic eruptions. Those five scenarios um, are likely to occur in the next uh, few days or weeks. So we will see how the situation develops and we will keep you informed on that. Uh, we will go over the latest update from the Icelandic Met Office as well, which was published uh, on the 19th of April. Uh, it says uh, that when the eruption started on the March 16th, ground uplift at Svartsengi slowed down considerably and almost snapped. This indicated an equilibrium between magma inflow into the magma reservoir below Svartsengi into the surface at Sunukur Crater Row uh, had been established. But at the beginning of April, ground uplift began to increase anew, and a similar volume of magma is now being erupted at Sunukur as is accumulated in the reservoir beneath Swatsengi, causing increased magma pressure. Uh, the current development is uh, new which is uh, an ongoing volcanic eruption with relatively stable lava flow at Sunukur crater row at the same time as ground is uplifting in Svartsengi. 
Therefore, there is more uncertainty now than before about the possible development of the events. Model calculations indicate that over 6 million cubic meters of magma has now been added to the magma reservoir beneath Schwarzenge since uh, March 16th. In previous events, magma has propagated from Schwarzenge when between 8 and 13 million cubic meters has been added to the reservoir since last event. Here you see the graph of um, inflation episodes and the eruptions market with the star. Uh, the graph shows the estimated amount of magma that has been added beneath Schwarzenge between the volcanic eruptions and magma propagations that have occurred since November 2023. Hitherto, the general trend in Sudnukur area has been an increased likelihood of magma propagation and even subsequent eruption. Now, however, a new situation seems to be at hand when a magma propagation could occur during ongoing eruption. Let's recall that magma propagation is a sudden and a large flow of magma propagating out of the magma reservoir and can culminate with magma reaching the surface. After the magma propagation on 2nd of March, which did not end in an eruption, marked a change in the activity that had uh, since December been somewhat cyclical. If uh, magma accumulation continues at a similar rate, the likelihood of another magma propagation increases in the coming days or weeks, even though an eruption is still ongoing. Magma propagation from the reservoir during an ongoing eruption has thus far not been seen before uh, in the area. Therefore, more uncertainty is on the development of the activity in the next days or uh, weeks. Another peculiar event took place in Iceland when some tourists uh, attempted to drive to the volcano, to the erupting volcano with the Dacia Duster car, as you see. And they got stuck off road. They were driving in the area where there is no road, just through the lava. Uh, a Dacia Duster vehicle appeared to be stuck in the lava at the start of the road uh, course that goes west out of the lagoon today. Half through school, soon took this picture of the car at 17.25, around 7 o'clock in the evening. The vehicle was stationary uh, in the same place, according to Hafthor in interview with MB at. Uh, rescue team personnel also rescued three exhausted foreign hikers on the trail to Little Hruter, just west of Kistofat, last night. It should be added that driving off-road in Iceland is strictly prohibited, and the fines for this is very high. In fact, uh, it's cheaper to take a helicopter flight uh, over the volcano than pay a penalty for this. Some people came very close to the volcano. They spoke Serbo-Croatian language or Serbian or Croatian, hard to tell. But they were also seen uh, frying sausages uh, next to the volcano. They were incredibly close to the craters, you see. And uh, they were seen from the video. In the video of one Icelander, Johan Ragnarsson, who took this uh, flight, and uh, on the social media, the same people also posted videos of what was happening there. On one of them, you can see a video that is apparently very close to the lava pond, and you can see, you can also see the same people roasting sausages at the foot of the lava um, lava pile, while the lava flows. Uh, pass over the pile. It was published on their Instagram page. One who filmed this saw, among other things, splashes of lava land near the people who had ventured it out onto the lava. This was seen on their Instagram page.
rijeka vulkana. Ovo baš ključno. Jako je opasno ovdje stratiti gdje smo je on sad, ali mi smo sve to zbog vas, followera, da vidite u što ovo bolje. Bolje premre. Ovdje je bilo šta je ovo. Ovdje počinje da krčka, tako da tata ja bi vatio liniju sad prema dalje. Da, moram se. Ovo je najveći vulkan, ali moram ići iz druge strane da vidite tu drugu stranu. Tako da idemo ja sad da tražiti mjesto za kobasice, roštelji i sve. And here you can see the video how they are flying sausages right next to the volcano and soon Quangigar crater. It's quite incredible. Super dangerous. It's really life threatening. And now look how close they were to the crater. We saw a similar case back in 2021 when one American climate erupted in Fagradashvatakon. Here is somewhat similar. They didn't climb the cone yet, but they were very, very close, very dangerous situation. Please don't do that. Another big news uh, from Iceland, we had a very big earthquake in the interior parts of Iceland at Barverbunga Volcano. Nobody lives this, in this area, it's completely uninhabited and does not present danger to anyone, even if it erupts uh, most of times there were no uh, consequences uh, related to infrastructure or um, humans uh, living in Iceland when it comes to this eruption, at least in modern times. During the last eruption of Bartharbunga, the volcano had a collapse of the magma chamber, and as the magma chamber emptied into the dike, the lid of magma chamber started to sink like a piston, but it wasn't a smooth movement. The piston got stuck several times and was Release it uh, with a larger earthquake. There were dozens of earthquakes with magnitude 5. Uh, now we are seeing the reversal of that process. The magma chamber is slowly filling up and the piston is pushed up. Again, it hits resistance and from time to time bigger earthquakes occur when the tension of the piston is released. For now, the statement from Icelandic Met Office is that it is very common for large earthquakes to occur in Bartharbunga, but this is on a larger scale, said Johanna Malinskuladotir, natural disaster expert at Icelandic Met Office, in the interview with the news agency this morning. Some speculate that this earthquake occurred near the plate boundary, so it could easily be a fault or plate boundary quake. With this we will end our review for today. Wish you all the best. Peace and blessings from us and God bless. Enjoy the footage and be well.